Hi dear friends, welcome back to our Train to Gain and Grow with WHO episodes. I would like to thank you to each and everyone who giving your love, support and kind messages. With your support, we uh, feel proud to giving you a wonderful information. As you know that we are just updating the system with later research. Until now, we have given you some information on the philosophy, history, as well as the principles of the system. Now, today, we are going to teach you about the practice tips. In a practice, we have to be understand the system fully. Without practice, uh, we cannot uh, implement the theory into the practical or in other words, that any principles cannot be seen practically into, into the practice until we don't use the medicines on the patients. So each and every system based on the practice. If your practice is grow, it means the system is scientific and giving you results. What we are seeing today, the, the many system of medicines uh, are, are not um, uh, growing further because their practitioners is actually only using the uh, formulas without any principles or in my own world is baseless theory. And what happened actually? The, your practice actually grew but it did not impact on the patient as well as on the system. So uh, if you look at the ancient art of the medicines where the formulas was made to grow the practitioners uh, 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 in a such a way that the, the patients uh, uh, fully restore. Uh, if you look at the today's modern science is growing faster in a, such a way or in a scientific way that from each corner all the practitioners are moving forward in one direction. On the other hand, the complementary practitioners are not growing in a one direction. Each and every system has their own philosophy, own principles and practice is uh, uh, on the basis of some uh, formulas which is not relevant to their own practice. So let's talk about today the medical system made by Matai and cross into the specific category. And we are learning today how we can grow in our practice uh, and with the wonderful results. And WEHO is the only international award winning organization who are actually producing and representing the world class practitioners, okay? And that's why we will teach you the case history today, how to take a case history into the specific system of medicine. And without understanding the case history, you cannot make a scientific data. So we need a patient, we need a practitioner, so both data implement into the scientific. But before that, I would like to uh, focus some point what mistake we do. Our system of medicine practitioners, what they do, they focus on the patient, they focus on the disease, and they do not actually focus on the real use of the system's medicines. What they do, they actually get together, make a complex their own without any scientific explanation, as well as they actually using the other system of medicines and what happened in the end that you have treated the patient but you did not actually grow yourself. You did not get the knowledge. You did not actually make your system scientific. So what we will do, we will give you some point what mistake we are doing, what our you know, practitioner uh, uh, doing the mistake. So let's talk about the case histories first. So today we will just learn about the case history, okay? Uh, in other way, how to take a case history. We have to be understood. Now, if you look at before taking a case history, 
my previous episodes uh, teaching will come handy uh, for example in our previous we have come to understand that what is the body health and second what is disease and third root cause of the disease and fourth the organ and system affected fifth the symptoms of the disease and sixth the administration of the dose and then the dilution so we are actually until now understood this now it is a very important into the case history for example we will take it a example of digestion okay and the major we are starting uh, there are so many cases we can talk about who worked on 702 diseases with the uh, specific systems data and we will teach you one by one so we will start the root cause of the disease is actually digestion and in digestion what is the main is problem is for example dyspepsia okay so in other words we can say um, the food is not digesting food is not digesting and making acidic okay so basically if the somebody comes and uh, give you some uh, 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 symptoms remember the each and every system of medicine is different so what patient for example the patient came name a b c okay this is the very important in the prep when you make a case history never disclose the name of the patient or the their confidential um, uh, information and they will come to you what you have to do is we have to be go through the their basic information okay so basic information means uh, who person is male female child age weight what actually they doing in other word is occupations and there are some basic information you have to be collect their address their contact number and then you have to be go for their temperaments okay so how we can go for that one is in our previous we have just given you tip that what is the disease okay so disease means digestion and then the root cause is acidic is too much and the organ affected is metabolic okay and the symptoms are is acidic reflux food is not digesting there are so many uh, uh, other uh, constipation uh, there are some people feeling the uh, 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 loose motions or some people are feeling uh, uh, headaches so you can make a list of all those and then we have to we come to the the temperament okay so basically when the temperament come after reading is this it means we have to be either put it into the lymph blood mind or mixed so if you look at this one we have to be understand that how we can go through so digestion means the lymph okay so one point here come digestion acidic is related to the uh, uh, digestion too so we will put acidic here and then we will go for some other reasons for example it's an uh, acidic making there some symptoms uh, which is uh, uh, affected to other organs so what the other organs are there are none in blood there is no sign of blood okay there is sign of the mind nervous system so acidic or digestion can affect the nervous system so it means we are coming here on my root on organ affected and the system 
so basically we got two so we got mixed temperament here okay because any signs uh, we got here is this that the lymphatic system is affected and then the the mind is affected so basically what we got is administration uh, of the dose so first we have to be understand the remedy so one remedy come from the uh, uh, sacrophoro group so metabolic remedy and then nervous system remedy so basically we have to be look at here what mistake we do our um, practitioner without any knowledge what they do they use s1 and then s10 this is the mistake we do what they give you is a whole theory we have to be understand that before food just go for s1 and after food go for s10 and basically uh, people don't know s1 is already here in s10 okay plus f1 and one plant from the s1 is not included into the s10 but is a similar effect of home so basically what happened we actually are going out of the way of the system that's why theory is very important so here we can either give s1 or either can s10 and basically what happened we are not using the organ here not using the mixed here so s1 is the lymphatic remedy and s10 is the mixed remedy so because two remedies are made together so that's a, uh, become a complex remedy so theory is failed so we are just going out of the theory so this is the mistake of what we have to be done we have to be go to the root cause okay so either s1 or I, uh, uh, s10 we have to be understand now there are so many remedies s2 there are so many remedy s5 in in a lymphatic and we are using not those why but before some practitioner will come and give you s1 s2 s5 s10 look at there are four remedy in one patient in giving in the digestion why why we are giving in that and where the scientific study is gone where the case history will come so what we have to be understand next time what they do some mistakes they do is that they for example this is a commercial part what they do actually in their practice they think if we give the patient uh, so many medicines then patient will impress that's why they using i have done the survey they using so many medicines to impress the patient but Uh, the patient can be impressed with one medicine more rather than 10 and today's world the patients thinks they have a no more knowledge they have a social media they have a internet they have a gone through the all sciences so they have experience to treating their body so once they see 10 medicine it means they thinks you are blindly uh, giving the medicines they don't know itself first second thing is they what they have done they give a Uh, fake remedies what is that non medicated pills or they diluted some medicines in water okay so basically it's only commercial to and where the system gone it mean and if you look at the other system they are growing because their practitioners always give information using principles and are progressing together not individually so what they have done in if you look at the other system if i include the other systems uh, practitioners uh, theory here or uh, example so our video will be go long so so understand here we are uh, giving a impression to the patient and that's why our systems practitioners doing mistake they give the the non medicated pills dry pills to to impress them because one medicine and then what happened uh, they giving too many medications which is don't need it so they are giving a uh, patients to make a commercial aspect which is not right but somewhere we have to be aspect so what we have done research theory practical get together and successful in practice how can we can success so there is a who tips now we will talk about that one okay so what we will understand now 
so we until now we have taken a case history now implement into the patient but what we teach is you as a practitioner nobody will teach you here so what we will make it one chart to understand the following okay so what we will make one we will make number one is principal remedy okay second is additional or secondary remedy secondary remedy third is we will go for a supportive remedy so what we have to understand now what is the principal remedy principal remedy means that temperament okay so temperament remedy means we have to be only limited to use a remedy which is given by our founder into the temperamenting medicine so for example we are learning here digestion okay so whatever the cases we are at the moment a dyspepsia acidic reflux we are learning this so we have to be understand what is the temperamentic remedy and remember we got s1 okay so that is the actually primary remedy so become a principal remedy principal remedy is temperament remedy and second additional is that what is the second remedy come up here is first primary second secondary okay so we got there one temperament and second mixed temperament so we got s and there okay so again we will supportive remedy so what do you mean by the supportive supportive remedy what actually mixed remedy is affecting other system so mind so we got f1 here basically okay so we got supportive remedy means affecting other system or organ yeah, organ or system affecting those so basically what we got it here is until now principal remedy temperament additional remedy secondary which is also temperament and third is supporting now we are looking look at the theory temperament organ root cause of the disease and then the doses so next we will go for additional remedy so now there is two different things come up is fluids which called the liquid remedy energetic okay and then there is a some other because you are learning from who number one uh, organization on the world so we have actually updated it to make a, a practitioner world class so we added there some other medicines called chakra remedies okay so this is called chakra remedies and then there is a fourth this fifth this and sixth number is external okay so external remedy come so now in in fluid we will see which actually electricities are present so there are some electricities uh, or you can say fluid remedies okay and then energies and then chakra means there are seven uh, systems correspondence to chakras and this is totally belongs to meta system okay and we updated it so anybody would like to know about the shiva we will give that episode and now so then is external remedy external means if there is some minor symptoms okay symptoms minor which is some kind of people feel and through the app because we are learning acidic here so some people feel pain some people feel little bit bloating some people feel a headache so these are the come on that so fluid for example we will use here one of the good uh, example is 
yellow okay or semi mucus okay so so we go for that one and then for example we will give uh, chakras is solar flexes is affected okay chakras and then external means we will choose some remedies for minor symptoms headache colic or bloatiness so we will use that one so we will tell so uh, remember we are taking it as a case history practically theoretical be done practically now making a data in your register you are making a data supporting the organization and giving to the world look at that so how so now if you look at how many medicines is all together one two three four five six six remedies we are giving okay but there is a little bit of change so we can choose six remedy so practice tip so the people who are understanding that commercial aspect they can give six remedy so they can make money so some people think about that okay practitioner is nothing to do with the serving the human alignment suffering souls they not ser serving them they just want to make money so we are giving them uh, they are wanting that six remedy give why dry pills why frequent why distilled water why you give uh, dry pills to them why you using some patents and other uh, uh, medicines Keep it yourself into the system. That's why. But we are also considering that one. So we are giving and telling to our practitioner. If you want to successfully a commercial, you can. So six remedies a lot. But what we teach here is this. Okay, don't go for two remedies here. Okay, there is one. Either choose this or mixed. So F one is into that. So either choose S one or S10 or we will give additional remedy is if the root cause is bile duct, if the root cause is liver, so that's why the additional come either give for this, otherwise it will change to S1 Bochleria, S10 Centurion, S2 Lyco because I use German. Why we using the the plant name? It is a scientific name. Okay, any system recognition need a scientific name, not the initials. So then we need S5 Berberis to the liver. So we have to be look at the temperament medicines come from here. One, two, three. Okay. So basically, what we are understanding now is that we have to be choose only one one remedy from here. Okay. And then the the fluid. So this remains same. So sambucus will say. And then solar flexes will remain the same. Pit of stomach and belly button. This is a special mixture of some uh, uh, respiratory remedies together and make a, a chakras. So it's just right. And then we can use there some medicines F2 synchona. Or S10 external, or uh, uh, there are some other medicines which is called. Uh, you can give a, a, a remedy of this yellow as a colic to cover that one. So basically, what happened? One remedy from there, okay, and second remedy from here, and third remedy from here, and you can do this one together. So it is fourth remedy. Okay, so you are giving either three remedies or additional fourth. So there are three remedies. Now, when the data will become why you have given this remedy, so there is a simple answer. Okay, if you use as one is a metabolic, second is nervous system affected and metabolic affected. That's why the S10, S2 is a bile duct, gallbladder system, acidic making. And then S5 is a liver, so you become that one, and then you are giving an explanation now. So why the fluid remedy? Because energies of the stomach through the yellow they have to be restored. So that's why we are giving the yellow. And then there is a one remedy came is called uh, the chakra solar flexes is restoring the solar flexes, 
and then we are additional. So our data came here. So what we have learned in the end, we have understand the system in a very scientific. You have treated a patient, okay? You are into the theory and uh, practical, and you are giving world a uh, much more. You are using so that's why the motto of WEHU UK to make a world class practitioner. So we have seven hundred two diseases like that. So we will give you teaching. So that's why we have done this one. Any questions? Any uh, any uh, inquiry? Just come, and I hope you like this uh, video once again. And we will come back with the new. And please uh, give your comments to. And if you want to become a world class uh, a practitioner, join us and learn more. Thank you very much for your support.